Welcome to the Monetary Academy. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Marco and I am a software support engineer at IBM. After watching this video, you will be able to configure the ITCAM agent for J2E in order to monitor your Tomcat VA application server running in a Java 8 virtual machine. I hope you find this useful. First of all, I must clarify one point. At the current date, May 2016, this Tomcat version, V8, is actually not supported by current maintenance of the Tomcat native agent. However, uh, as the latest uh, iFix3 has recently added Java 8 support, as you can see by uh, looking at the uh, iFix3 README, uh, you will be able to implement this monitoring solution as an alternative and supported way. So, let's start and check the current agent version. You can open a terminal and log in to your monitoring host. In this presentation, I will assume it's a Linux host, but the same applies to any other Unix or Windows host. In the bin directory, you can issue this command to display the current maintenance, which is the 7.1.1 iFix3. Next is to make sure that your Tomcat V8 is not already configured. For example, you could uh, have already tried to configure a native Tomcat data collector that is not working, so you, you need to uh, remove it first. This is usually very simple because you only have to edit the Tomcat startup script which is included in the bin directory of the application server. The file is named catalina.sh and in this case you can see that there is no ITCAM section. An ITCAM section is similar to this one. So basically you need to make sure that this section is not already included in this file. Also uh, it's useful to locate the Java entry point in this file for later use. This is the Java entry point and this is the main class used to start up the application server, the Tomcat V8. Also we can double check by looking at the data collector runtime directory. So we open the runtime directory and uh, we show that this server is not yet here because there is no uh, runtime subdirectory for this server we are going to configure. Now, before ITCAM can be uh, configured, I suggest to first confirm that your Tomcat V8 can be started and executed without any issue. So, before configuring ITCAM, please make sure that your Tomcat V8 is able to run without any problem. Also, you can clean up the Tomcat logs first, check its version and the used uh, JDK or JRE configured and you can start it by using the startup script. After the startup is completed, you can check the log and, and uh, check the website uh, and so on. Now we can stop the server and uh, start our simple task. Also we can clean up the Tomcat logs again.
let's return to the terminal where we issue the the itm command and we can start the uh, IT, itm cmd manage to show the installed agent and configure them let's start the agent configuration as usual by right clicking on it and selecting advanced configuration when you are on the panel to select a type of application server do not select Tomcat because this is the native data collector the native data collector will not support the V8 with current iFix3 you have to select the generic J2SE data collector this one This is the most important panel where you have to fill in some information about your application server, the server home, the Java home, and the main class. The main class is the one that you earlier observed from the startup script of your Tomcat V8. And for Tomcat V8, it's the org.apache.catalina.startup dot bootstrap and now you can choose your uh, Tomcat uh, instance name and uh, uh, of course you can, can select the Catalina script to be changed by the Eticam configurator So you uh, finish the configuration when you get to this screen and click OK. Now the last step is to open the startup script again, the Catalina.sh. You can use any editor such as VI or any other. Let's look for the ITCAM section. It should be located at the bottom of the file and this is not, uh, of course, it's not correct. You have to change the location of the ITCAM section because at the bottom of the file will not be used at all. So uh, what you have to do is simply to cut and paste this section just before the Java entry point and for the Tomcat V8 this is the best, the best location and finally make sure to save this change of course. Now let's start Tomcat V8 and observe its generated startup log Okay, to look started now. Let's open a tab session on our ITM server. The new agent node should appear in short time and start to populate its subnodes immediately. This is not the same for the workspace contents. They will get some minute to populate. And of course, you need to make sure that there is uh, activity on your application server. At the same time, you can uh, check again the ITCAM runtime directory. You should see a new subfolder created for this Tomcat VA application server, and uh, a number of files should have populated inside. For example, this one. You can look at the file timestamps to confirm that some of them have been created after the configuration at runtime. So
so to summarize you have uh, implemented the basic monitoring of your Java virtual machine running Tomcat V8 and uh, of course you can consider this your final monitoring solution for Tomcat V8 or otherwise use the solution until Tomcat V8 support will be added to the Tomcat native data collector in next interim fix that will be released in next weeks or months. That's all. I hope you find this useful. Bye.